Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at Computex 2015. I'm here at uh, Patriots booth speaking with Paul. And Paul, can you tell us what we're looking at here? So Patriot uh, announced a couple of things at uh, Computex 2015. On the uh, DRAM side, we're, we're launching a 64 gig and 128 gig Viper 4 uh, DDR4 series, uh, 2400 uh, speed and above. And that's uh, going to come out of the pricey range, but you know, as we said, DDR4 is coming down in price, so we're pretty excited about that at the high end of the market. Also here, you'll see on the right hand side is a number of new peripherals. Uh, one is a colored keyboard. Um, LED, there are V790, uh, um, mechanical keyboard with a uh, removable rest, and then two of our uh, laser pointer um, mouse gaming mice. Um, the top here is our um, head, head spoon set for the gaming market, all based on the uh, Viper series. Okay, and then um, have your Swing over here to some of our latest SSD lines. Um, and the two is obviously popular as well as the SATA, the Knife, Pyro, and Blaze. Okay. So it looks like you guys have a bunch of stuff. You guys are getting into like the peripheral scene. A little bit. I think uh, part of our Viper gaming series has become uh, quite popular. And so we're expanding that with the peripheral line, going from you know, the keyboard initially, one of them, and then expanding with two, two mice, gaming mice, and the headset as well. So keep in touch. We'll have more stuff coming later 2016. You're actually so you're actually not using the Cherry MX switch. You're actually using the the Razer switch type. You know, uh, and uh, just trying to hit a, a certain price point in the marketplace. Um, you know, Cherry has been uh, certainly a popular brand at the high end. Uh, we're going to kind of hit that mid range. Uh, we're hoping to get retail price point below one hundred fifty dollars. So we think that's a good marketplace for us to have. Cool. Do you have like uh, price points for any of these release dates? This right now, we're planning to M MSRP this about 150, and we think that uh, you know on promotion, we'll be, you'll obviously see it less than that. Okay. And then the, the mice, you have any idea? The mice is uh, right now we have to release the retail prices on these, but we expect to release that as you go to market in the next couple of months. Okay. And then um, you guys are like you know so. With the SSDs, you know they're going up in capacity, and are they, you know, have you been noticing the price? It becomes there's a little bit of price pressure. Obviously, you know the 60 gigs are becoming uh, end of life by a number of uh, suppliers. We still have one of our 60 gigs in, in production, but even there, I think most people are moving up to 128s, 240s, and uh, even the one terabyte drives are moving in very good volume. So it's a play on performance and capacity. Um, MSATA obviously still growing, but uh, our SATA 3 is definitely the main part of our business. Gotcha. Do you, do you envision the, you know, one day or soon uh, us moving towards like SSD only systems? Oh, I think that's already happening. I think Apple's already defined that with their Mac lines. Uh, yeah. The MacBook lines are all SSD based. Uh, I think you'll, you won't see that necessarily on the gaming systems. Uh, you'll see them as like, you know, typical accelerator drives. But you'll still, you know, find those four terabyte drives sitting out there and, and higher for the main data storage. And then you mentioned that you have, um, you know, 64 gigabyte kits and 128 gigabyte kits, yeah. uh, you know, for GDR4. Uh, you know, that's like it is, you know, what applications can take advantage of that much RAM? You know, well, I think it's you know, heavy duty uh, uh, gaming systems. Uh, these are gamers are using the ultimate uh, graphics cards. And, and, it's more for bragging rights and things. It's like. definitely a bragging rights. <laughs> are clocking in at over three to four hundred dollars a set, and so definitely up there. Not for everybody, but I think there's anything DDR4 is coming down in price. Uh, this year will be a significant celebration in the second half as you see more motherboards coming out at lower price points. So we've been through the cycle, DDR2, DDR3, and here comes DDR4 now. Uh, still be a mainstream product in, in mainly 2016, but gamers love this stuff. They love the, the high end of the market, and they're, they're our main focus today. Cool. Thanks, Paul. All right.